do it in our own. None of us are good enough to get to heaven. We're all, if we're honest, let's just be honest now, we're all a little bit dirty. We're all unclean. Now, have you noticed something? Today, in England, this doesn't happen very often, but, but, to, but today, I, I can't even get my words out, I'm so excited. Today, in England, it has snowed. Now, whenever I see snow, I just love it because it's just so clean. It's just so white. And yet, it reminds me that I'm not clean. I'm unclean. And the Bible teaches us that the blood of Jesus Christ, God's Son, can wash us whiter than snow. There's a verse in Isaiah that says, this is God speaking, he says, Come, let us reason together. Though your sins be like scarlet, I will wash them whiter than snow. And even though we're dirty, we can be made clean by the blood of Jesus Christ. So my question to you is, if you don't know that yet, if you think you're good enough to get to heaven, if you've not yet committed all of your life to the Lord Jesus, if you've not yet said, I'm dirty, Lord Jesus, I'm unclean, I've done sins, I've done wicked things, I've lied, I've stolen, I've looked at things I shouldn't have, I've had sex outside of marriage, I've got drunk, I've offended a holy God, and Jesus Christ bled and died on a cross for my sins, unless you have committed your life to Jesus, repented of sin and put your trust in him, and my question to you is, when will you do that? When will you forsake everything else and give your life to Jesus Christ? Now, some of you, I know, you'll say, well, maybe I'll think about it another time. But right now, right now, I like my life as it is. I'm not that concerned about it, you know. There's no urgency to this decision. Well, for those of you who think there's no urgency to putting your trust in Jesus Christ, this story, the most powerful story I've ever heard, is right now for you. In our country, there's a, there's a famous preacher called Roger Carswell. Some of you may have heard of him. But what many people don't know about Roger Carswell is that before he was a preacher, he used to be a teacher, a religious education teacher, an RE teacher. And one day he was in his classroom and he was teaching the kids this lesson all about Jesus' death and resurrection. And a young man, a teenage boy called William, walked to the front of the classroom and said to Mr. Carswell, he said, you know, Mr. Carswell, I'd really like to know that when I die, I will 100% go to heaven. How can I know this for myself, sir? How can I know this for myself, Mr. Carswell? And Roger Carswell, well, he looked at his watch and it was five to four and the bell was about to go any minute and he thought, well, ah, William, I don't really have time to go into this right now. I tell you what, uh, go away and maybe pray a prayer and tomorrow we'll have a chat about it in a bit more detail. So anyway, four o'clock came and the bell rang <laughs> and you know what it's like, all the kids bolted for the door and they ran out into the, their homes and went home that night. The next day, Roger Carswell is driving to work and he sees these blue flashing lights and he thinks, oh, uh, oh, it's just another ambulance. And he walks to his corridor, down the corridor to his classroom. And outside his classroom are three boys from William's class. They run straight to Roger Carswell. Their eyes are wide. Their skin is that, you know, that sickly pale colour. And they scream this at Roger Carswell. They say, Mr Carswell, Mr Carswell, haven't you heard the news? William's been killed. And that morning, this is a true story, William was walking to school and a lorry overturned on the pavement and crushed him against a brick wall. Roger Carswell said that day he learnt a very valuable lesson. Never again will he say, go away and think about it. Never again will he say, go home and pray a prayer. From this day on, forevermore, he will say, you come today, because today could be your last day on planet Earth. So that's what I'm going to say to you. If you don't know Jesus Christ, if you haven't put your trust in the Saviour who died for you, you come to him today, tonight. Don't put it off another moment longer because none of us are guaranteed tomorrow. Friends, we think we've got years and years, but the truth is, some of us, it might be later than we think. For some of us, we might not have much more time left. 
Now, if you're a Christian and you're watching this video, would you do two favors for me? I want you to share two things. The first thing I'd like you to share is, I want you to share in the comment box below the time when you realized that you were unclean, the time when you realized you'd sinned against a holy God. Share your testimony with us. Tell us what you did to, to be forgiven. Talk about it in the comment box below. And then the second thing, maybe a little bit more important, is I would ask that you would share this video everywhere, on Facebook, send it out on email, send it everywhere you can, get it out as far as you can, because what Francis Chan said, you won't get much clearer, much clearer of the gospel message there than anywhere else. So please get this message out that people aren't good enough to heaven to get to heaven. People aren't good enough. The only way we can get to heaven is through the blood of Jesus Christ. So please do those things. Share your testimony. Share this video. And if you don't know Jesus Christ, don't put it off a moment longer. Put your trust in him now.